YouTube and welcome to another Fantabulous Friday with your favorite YouTuber, me. Just kidding, folks. I mean, I appreciate it if I'm one of your favorites, but you know, if you're not, that's cool. I won't lose sleep over it, and I'm sure you won't either. Today's going to be a sit-down. Because I can't find my Bluetooth, so... Plus, I've been working overtime, so you know what? I'm going to take my only day off this week and sit. So, grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab some water, juice, breakfast. Come have a sit for me. And with me. Because today, we've got an unboxing. And this one is different from my... Coach purses. This is Michael Kors. Yes, folks, surprisingly, I do have a variety of purses. I do go with Michael Kors. I do go with Kate Spade. I mean, I wouldn't mind like a, you know, Chanel or Prada or Gucci one day, but... Unless I turn out to be Jeff Bezos' long-lost heir. Sorry, folks. You have to go to another channel for that. Don't get me wrong. No shade. The closest I'm ever going to get to that would probably be consignment. But hey, vintage is always hip. So, that aside... We are going to get to the unboxing. Technically, this is an unbagging because this came in a bag. Put on to it. And as always, the safety lesson first. You should know to expect this in my videos by now. But if not, if you're tuning in for the first time, safety reminder. Kids, always get your parents' supervision. And always cut away from you. That is only common sense, but it is an Amazon standard. Hashtag shameless work plug. Hello, safety committee and managers, if you're watching. Yes, I do shamelessly plug my job. It's because of this job. I buy purses. So... What's right is right, and what's fair is fair. Hey, if I've been here for four years, it's a good place to work. So, with that Amazon safety lesson in mind, and common sense lesson in mind, let's get to the unbagging. Now, this wasn't from Amazon. But if they did have it on Amazon, I probably would have looked at it. They do have versions of this on Amazon, but they're going to be from more of your third-party vendors. And it's going to be a older version than this. Still nice looking, but more of an older version that can either be a smaller crossbody or a larger shoulder bag. Now this here is the newest Michael Kors Tegan bag. I first spotted these beauties. When I started re, uh, recouping my lost purse collection. And I loved it. But ultimately, I held off on ever getting them because that's the only thing with going to different sites other than the manufacturer. Yes, you are supporting other people. But you could also be getting scammed. You could be looking at a stock photo and end up getting a urine-soaked Walmart purse instead. Stuff like that can happen. Or not even a purse. You might just get a box of tissue paper. It's, it is a gamble out there. And I don't really gamble. 
Maybe an occasional game of blackjack, but that's about it. But I'm not gonna do that with an expensive purchase such as a purse. So I always admired, admired, and one day, I get the most amazing search results on Michael Kors. The Tegan bag was back. So me, I do my little Snoopy dance. And I order it. This is a very sentimental unbagging and order, by the way, because the name Tegan is very sentimental in this household. My third child, who only existed for eight weeks, sadly never taking breath into this world, I chose to honor by naming Tegan, as I will never know if that little life was a boy or girl or what they would have identified as when they got when they got to be older. So I liked the name Tegan and I thought it was a very nice neutral name. So that's that's my third child. Tegan will always matter and will always be my third child. And yes, there's a common theme. Most of the time I choose sentimental names. Unless I see that, ooh, shiny, ooh, pretty. AKA the case bait novelties. Off the rambling. And on to the unbagging. Find the seam here. And this is a nice uh, bubble wrap package. Yes, folks, I think that would be my dream job. Quality testing bubble wrap. Some, 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 some. Oh, okay, it passes. Oh. Wait. Whoops. And yes, one of these days you may see me unboxing one of those little fidget pop things that come out. You never know. But for today, you're going to see my new purse with me. Did I find an open slot? And more importantly, I'm able to do this by cutting away with myself. Cutting away with myself. Oh boy. <sighs> I think the consensus is I need a second cup of coffee. Cutting away from myself. So we will start the cutting. <clears throat> and watch this, my irony. Aha, we finally got through. Props, it is some nice thick plastic, so that is good for quality, good for protection, and yeah, a little less cardboard because even though cardboard can be recyclable, it is a nice buffet for mice and cockroaches. And no shade to anybody that owns those big hissing cockroaches, but I would opt not to invite those into my home. It's one thing if my kids are begging me for food. It's another thing if I go into the kitchen and hear a chorus of food, glorious food. Hey, siesta time. Da, 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 da. And they got more than four legs. Yeah, sorry. Unless you're paying rent. Yeet. So this is one good thing about this. be hard to cut but not always a tasty snack for the critters either and thankfully a lot of these companies are starting to get the idea that they should be recycling these yes i might buy fast fashion guilty but i do recycle and upcycle and reuse so. 
the official reveal. Drum roll, please, on your end, because I'm not doing it on my end. Go. Da, 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 da. Upside down. And right side up. Yes, I went with a white bag. And I will still use the little label here. As you can see, actually, this is a light cream. Now, on the website, they do have more than just the light cream in these Tegan bags. They do have black, which was admittedly the tempting default for me. I mean, it is my favorite color. It is the color of my cold, dead heart, but I am trying to get a little variety here, and it is nice to have different colors. Gee, variety! Maybe I should change my channel to Redundant Reverend Zumba. The other colors they have are the light, the light cream, and then they also have a Darker brown, like not quite taupe, but like a luggage brown. And then they have like a powder pink bag. As much as I like pink, I do have pink bags. I'm still debating on that brown one. Then my Rowan satchel might get a little worried there. I wouldn't want to hurt feelings. But it's also going to come down to the size. Sometimes. Sometimes the size matters when it comes to convenience needs. Like making sure you have everything in your purse without having to carry around a million bags. Which is always a good thing for me. But should I got the kids with. Hello, tissue paper, my old friend. You know, most people collect things like plants, knickknacks. Me, I'm happy collecting tissue paper. Here's a little reusing hack today, kids. Save your tissue paper. Use it later when you get an invitation to your friend's birthday party. This can double as wrapping paper. You've reduced your carbon footprint and you've reused. And if you've got crayons, or colored pencils or markers, draw some fun stuff on it. And you just made a super unique wrapping paper. Who knows? Maybe you'll do something so incredibly mind-blowing that somebody with a graphics design degree might be there, spot that, and go, I like you, kid. Let's sign you up. And now you're the next millionaire. If that does happen now, I want credit for putting that idea in your head. I don't need money, but just make sure I tell people to subscribe to my channel. That'll be my finder's fee. There we go. And it looks like these straps are inside. So, anyway, the signature, signature, Michael Kors. One of the number one ways that you can tell you've got an authentic one to look at this. It should be uniformly straight and all the letters should be uniformly fitting. If any of the letters look even slightly wonky, you may not be dealing with an authentic. That is, that is the spotter. And also the other trademark is that 
some of the canvases like Coach will have the MK's logo all over it. And another way to check your purse is a lot of times the logos are on the insides here of the, hmm, almost looks like a grommet, but little subtle things like that in the Michael Kors purses will let you know whether you're dealing with an authentic or a clone, if you will. Now this gorgeous bag is a shoulder bag. Now this is solely shoulder or carry it as a satchel if you want. Obviously I would opt to use it as a shoulder bag. Now if you do go with the white, use in discretion because white seems to be the universal dirt magnet. Which is why I don't wear a lot of white. Don't get me wrong. I do like the color. The symbolism is awesome. It stands for purity. But. Try to get any stains out of white. That's a different story. Kids, ask your mom and dad sometime. As a matter of fact, because Mother's Day is coming up. Tell your mom, thank you for doing my laundry. Trust me, that will go a long way. Your mom puts a lot of work into keeping your white clothes clean. Trust me. Or as they say in Spanish, confianza. So language lesson aside, we're going to go into the details of this purse. <clears throat> Again, this is the TV shoulder back. Get the nice little fillers out. Now it has... The Michael Kors signature and stitching all inside here. It has two back pockets. Both of these snaps here are magnetic closures. The, the feel of it is a little on the firm side, but still nice feeling. The, the uh, pebbled leather. And these... Straps are a combo of chain and leather. So obviously, obvious disclaimer, but maybe not obvious. In summertime, be careful in extreme heat with your leather. Especially with light colors because we all do sweat. So here you go. Shiny, isn't it? Pretty, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Now, to show the rest of the compartments in here. Or to keep it simple, the specs. Uh, and it comes, actually comes with this stuffing and a complimentary silica gel pack, which, kids, these are not Pop Rocks, and not the latest TikTok trend. Throw these out. They're only to ensure freshness. And that's for inanimate objects, not your breath. Okay? Or better yet, have your mom and dad throw them out. And don't let socks or Fido after them either. Or Polly if you have a bird. That being said, the front here, actually the back here. Hello, we just spontaneously decided to make this opposite day. All right. Opposite day is done. The back here has the, the um, trademark Michael Kors. And every Michael Kors bag has a unique function on it that you can tell that you have gotten an authentic bag. 
and I'm gonna have to go Indiana Jones here and search for it. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this up to the camera as close as possible that you can see this. If you're not sure about looking for where to look for the laser inscriptions, or if you're even a little unsure about the wording for quality reasons, this is the ultimate way to tell you have an authentic purse. Look for the itty bitty tag in every bag. Now, you know how Coach will have their logo and a serial number stitched inside. The Michael Kors Company has tags. They're not very noticeable, but usually tucked in the corner right here. This if you're ever consigning, open the bag and look around until you find that little tag. And right then and there, look up that tag because each tag comes with a special set of numbers. And that special set of numbers tells you the year and date that it was manufactured, as well as gives you the description of what you bought. No tag, no dice. That's my motto. I highly suggest it be yours too. Yes, it's great to be sustainable and reuse, but it's not so great to get scanned or buy a knockoff, unless you want to buy a knockoff, but you gotta spend money on a knockoff. You might as well put some installments in and go for the real deal. So, yes, I'm over the 20-minute mark. I do know that. Yes, part of it was rambling, but also some of this I feel is a valuable lesson. Like I do say in some of my videos with the coach. How to tell when you have an authentic. Now, please don't take my word as solid gold expert level. I'm hardly an expert. I'm not any type of licensed appraiser. I don't get sponsored to do this. Most of these you can actually... Look up yourself for tips and tricks to tell that you have a real bag. So, there we go. Once again, in here, that little tag. Now, in addition to these nice little snap closures, this also has a center compartment. So, in the midst of all this paper here, Which you want to keep anyway because you do want to have, you do want to maintain the shape of your purse. Fairly decent sized inside compartment here. And stamped all over again with the Michael Kors signature logo on it. So you have either look for that or look for the MK. So we're going to set this back up. So you have it here, folks, once again. This is the Michael Kors Tegan purse. And this is from the current collection. I know there's videos out there from the past collections. And that's awesome. I'm glad they were able to get them. The only way I would get them is if my local consignment shop ever gets one in because I do happen to have the honor of knowing the appraiser. But for now, I will be really, really happy with this. The more happier with the added security of these little feet here to protect it for whatever reason you might want to put it on the floor. Why do you want to put it on the floor, much less white? I don't have a reason. Maybe you do. But I wouldn't. But I like knowing it's there anyway. MichaelKors.com is where I got this. And the last I checked, they do still have these. And you can either pay for them outright 
or you can opt for installments with Afterpay. All you need is to show some pay stubs and apply for it. Definitely not a bad company. Now, naturally, kids, your mom and dad are going to do that. So you may want to ask nicely. So, one last span around here of the Michael Kors Tegan purse. Might not be used as frequently, but still a much anticipated addition to my family. Who knows? I may get tempted to get the brown. Although I might not, I better watch how I get too tempted because then I'll get brown and black too. I know, me, black. Shocking, scandal. The world is tipped on its axis. MichaelKors.com, the Tegan shoulder bag. Nice medium size. It's not too large, not too small. I'm pretty confident that it would hold a Kindle 10. That gives you an, an idea on the specs. You'll probably have to put it horizontal. Not vertical, but... I'll probably test out myself just to make sure that it does. If not, you know, it'll definitely at least hold a Kindle paperweight or a Kindle 7. It'll hold a nice large wallet, your cell phone, some of your makeup. And could even hold an emergency diaper and wipe if needed. Not as large as some of the other bags out there. Like, it's not tote size, but... It's also not compact crossbody size either. So it's a little on the minimal side, but not as minimal as some other bags out there. And Michael Kors does sell more minimal bags out there as well. So there you go. A little bit of a spanning here, you can see. My rating on this bag as gorgeous as it is, much as I like the specs, I'm rating it a 9 out of 10. I take a point off because what was not included in this was a dust bag. I like dust bags. I talk about dust bags. Dust bags are awesome. Dust bags. They protect more than just your purses. They can protect your shoes. A long enough one can protect your nice dress clothes. It can even protect your valuable papers if you don't want lots of boxes. Protection. And as always with leather, you don't, use, don't ever use plastic. Because if you trap moisture in there, you can get mold. Mold's not good. So I'll have to be looking for a pillowcase. A cotton one for this. So that's the only reason I give it a 9 out of 10. Because I do like my dust bags. And I'm very vocal about saying that these outlets should be at least offering them as an option. But my humble opinion. So there you go. 9 out of 10. You will not get a dust bag with these. So be prepared to have your own makeshift dust bag. And for the umpteenth time, michaelkors.com, this is the Tegan bag. T-E-A-G-A-N. I only put the spelling in because there are a lot of ways to spell Tegan. So I appreciate everyone joining me on this fantabulous Friday. Even more if you've had the patience to make it through my half hour ramble. I'm going to be signing off. As Bob Barker says, don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. Like and subscribe for more content.